my brand will be honest about using uh, very cheap labor and charging a lot of money to customers. Treat people with respect. Uh -huh. I'm not going to do that. Michael Wolfson, tell me about classic British fashion. Who are your style icons? Well, I think our Prime Minister, uh, Mr Rishi Sunak, always wears beautiful fitting suits. He's always very well presentable. Does Rishi Sunak look so good because he does not pay tax? Uh, Michael Wolfson, how can I invest my money in the fashion industry in Britain? Look for things that are interesting and we feel can be invested in and then scaled. I take a brand that already exists and I spread it around the world. Perfect, yes. And I will force it down everyone's throats. Uh, people in this country have choice. <laughs> it's a good one, huh? <laughs> Michael Wilson. <laughs> I'm a British man, I've got to choose. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. oh. I am Sheikh Ahmed Al Kabir, the 867th richest person in the world. I have come to invest my money in this poor, deprived island of Great Britain. Follow me as I explore the Middle Western country of Great Britain and find out just how far money can get you in fashion. Oh. Football. Is it possible? to buy the England team. Death. Would you shoot my body from a cannon? Food. It's disgusting. And love. A conversation topic, cars. Always protected by my bodyguard and retired stripper, Jimmy. Let me help you, help me get richer. The British are famous for dressing poorly. Suit, I like her suit. Can I buy it? Imagine if I had a job, I would kill myself. The British fashion industry is worth only $40 billion. But that didn't stop Balenciaga from making a fortune from this badly dressed nation. And I'm here to see if I can do the same with my own fashion brand, Chic Sheikh. I needed some advice, so I met with fashion stylist to the stars, Holly Lacayo, who wouldn't tell me who she worked for. Um, Susan Boyle. No. No, Justin Timberlake. It was not Justin Timberlake. Cheryl Cole. No. Wow. Holly was certainly more discreet than Jimmy. I've been working for other VIP people, which I cannot mention due to the privacy. Very, very important singer we call, uh, you know, J-Lo. I'm here to make money. How can I do this from the fashion industry? Hmm, well, I think the best way is to start a business with good values. What are good values? being honest about sustainability, about what you pay people. Mm. Holly was clearly delusional, so I thought it best to move the conversation on from business to fashion. If I was going to take over from my late friend and lover, Vivienne Westwood, I needed to learn what young people like to wear. Right. And where do you envision wearing this? Maybe Sona, maybe Nando's. In leather. What are you going to put in the bag? This one can hold... 10,000 pounds cash. Right. This one, 100,000 pounds cash. Pocket money and uh, spending money. What kind of friends will I make if I wear this? Very few. Really? Best to move on. I asked for an outfit to wear to see my friend, Jacob. Who is your friend, Jacob? Uh, Jacob Rees Mogg. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we go to the sauna together. He likes to wear traditional uh, English gentleman clothes. He actually wears it when he sleeps. Right. He has a special uh, three-piece pinstripe suit with a hole in the area. A hole in what area? This, the area for with his wife. Oh. Uh-huh. And what does he do? He fucks her. No. Oh, we've gone back to the high-waisted. I like Simon Cowell. At last, I looked really cool. I thought I would tell Holly about my brand. If she wanted honesty, I would give her honesty. Uh, my brand will be honest about using uh, very cheap labor 
and will be honest about uh, spending very little money on making the product, but charging a lot of money to customers, uh, $1,850 for something it looks like it found in backside of McDonald's. Uh, we keep our workers alive with minimum wage and minimum bathing time so they can produce, 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 produce. Can't do that. Minimum leisure? No. They have very cheap water. No. Uh, no. No. Fashion investor will say no. What can I say for them to say yes? Treat people with respect, uh -huh. to be kind. I'm not going to do that. Holly gave me great fashion advice, but she clearly did not have a business mind. She showed me the clean side of fashion, but I know today, dirt sells. So I went to the home of filth. Camden. This is the heart of Camden. Here they do tattoo. People put nails in their body, in the nipple. I couldn't understand Jimmy's strong Cockney accent, but I think he was telling me another sex story. Anyway, Balenciaga were clearly onto something. The clothes here were disgusting. And then I found something very exciting. A shop that only sold traditional native British clothing. London. Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. Jimmy, 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 I know a story. Nice to meet you. Hello, sir. Good afternoon. Hello, nice to meet you. We have very nice T-shirt, London, England, Union Jack. We have all the sizes. That's the top seller one. Who designed this? Dior, Givenchy? Uh, no, no, no. This is an English company called Capital T-shirts. Oh, OK. I wasn't worried about Capital T-shirts. If necessary, I would just buy them out. Do you have a funny joke one? Ah, the bitch is back. <laughs> That's nice. For Jimmy, huh? Everybody buys this? Yes, Everybody. Yes, yes. Everyone. Yes, Everybody. Yes, yes. Everybody yes, buys everyone this. Everyone this one, yes. This was incredible. Something the whole nation would buy. Can I shake, ask a question? Yes, please. Jimmy. Yes, please. Do buy more trousers or more skirt? I don't know about this question. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Thank you. I was enjoying slumming it in Camden. So I thought I would go for an authentic British kebab and think about what I had learned. British people love bad fashion, and bad fashion is cheap to make, like the Balenciaga dirty shoe. But what could I do that would be cheap to make and make me dirty shoe money? Then the kebab dropped. I had an idea. Money, 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 money. Yes! Money, money, yes! Money, money, yes! I did it! Money, yeah. money, oh. money. I set up a meeting with fashion designer Emily Tan to pitch what I knew would be a successful product. But I started to feel nervous. I had never pitched anything. I have only ever had things pitched to me, and I hate it. Could there be hatred lurking behind that friendly smile? Um, I have a concept uh, I would like to show you. Mm -hmm. uh, it's okay? Yeah. It was time to sell, sell, and sell. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Britain today. A country full of gentlemen and cool guys. Sweatshops are out. Sustainable fashion is in. Have you ever had a classic British kebab? No. Only to find you have ruined your favorite I Love London t-shirt? Presenting the ultimate in dirty fashion kebab tea. A slow fashion shirt inspired by food waste. I had smashed the pitch. But what would Emily think of the designs? Featuring genuine cabbage covered with PVC and false barbecue sauce. False. Not real barbecue sauce because it goes off. What did you use? I paid somebody to do this for me. I do not know what she used. Bad start. What did Emily mean by bad start? Maybe she didn't like kebabs. Bad start because I didn't design, make it myself. Not necessarily that you didn't make it yourself, but just that you didn't know all the details around it. Uh, normally, I pay somebody to do everything. Ah. Or just remember where it's from. 
Yeah. Where's the T-shirt from? H&M. Mm. Mm. Emily was savage. She was ripping apart my dreams like my tiger Booba rips apart small, annoying dogs. Mm. Mm, Booba, good girl. Yum, yum, yum. This was not going to plan. I would have to impress her with my modeling skills and agree a premium price for my dirty design. Would I make my sweet Balenciaga shoe money? How much do you think I could sell this for? Ooh, um, 40 pounds? 200 pounds? 60? 200? 60? Yeah. 180? Um. I guess my kebab t-shirt was too visionary for Emily. But like my friends at British Gas say, when in doubt, charge more! I retailed them myself for £750 each, and by the end of the day, we were sold out. Join me next time as I invest more of my money into this struggling nation of Great Britain. <laughs>